You may feel safe at home or out in public, but that's probably because you're unaware of what's around you. Lots of mundane objects aren't always what they seem. In fact, they're often the best hiding place for scary pieces of technology that some astute people have uncovered around the world. From an average screw to USBs and wall adapters, stick around so you can learn how not to fall victim to traps set by evil people around the world. Amazing. On the whole, technology is great, but it isn't always used for the greater good, especially when in the hands of creeps. Unfortunately, these malicious individuals are as creative as they are sinister. Disguised in a number of inconspicuous everyday objects, their traps are catching many people out most of whom don't even realize there's anything unusual going on. But what types of traps are they setting? What are they used for, and how can you spot them? All will be explained, so let's start off with an ordinary screw. Or is it? If you see a screw that looks like this at a public place, you should call the authorities straight away once you're sure what it is. It's probably doing something sketchy, and for your own safety, you need to know. It's likely not even doing its job of fastening anything. Though it doesn't look out of the ordinary, that's precisely its purpose. So examine it closely, because that may be the portal someone is using to spy on you. Certain screws, like this one, have been found by people to contain hidden cameras that perverts have used to peep on unsuspecting victims. High-risk locations you may find these include public restrooms, bathrooms, and women's lockers. Yes, sorry ladies, but unfortunately, you're most likely to be affected. It seems, when it comes to spying on other people, smaller is better. Plus, they're pretty cheap. You won't believe it, but some screw cams advertised as nanny cams cost less than 10 bucks. That means if you work as a nanny, your interactions with a parent's kids may be being monitored, which shouldn't concern you as long as you're doing a good job. Granted, they're often legitimately used for home surveillance, but that's not always the case. Screw cams are so inconspicuous that lowlifes can place them pretty much anywhere. A primary target is any public toilet, particularly those for women. It's become such a problem in South Korea that the police often conduct searches to sweep public bathrooms for these types of devices. People install these to get intimate photos of others without their consent. Sometimes they'll have to download footage from the device, but often the footage can be accessed remotely, which is really creepy. If your photo gets taken, they've been known to upload the images to adult websites or use them to extort you. What's alarming is that distributors seem to be aware of this, because some now-deleted Amazon listings even included photos showing these cameras being placed on hinges in public bathrooms. But fret not. You can spot them if you know how. For one, check if the screw's placed in an area where it isn't supporting anything at all. Second, look closely, and see if there's a small but round and mirror-like object at the center. The lens can't be totally hidden after all. Third, check for any loose wires hanging around because a normal screw definitely doesn't need those. There are also screw cameras you can attach directly to furniture pieces. These furniture screw cams aren't that useful for pesky people if the screws point downward to the floor, so you can spot them pretty quickly if they're in areas that ruin the symmetry or design of the furniture. But screws aren't the most common objects you should look out for. Flash drives, for instance, are so common these days that people wouldn't pay attention to one lying around, which is why they're often used to spy on others at work. Check the opposite end of the USB plug. If you see a tiny camera lens, you found a spy cam flash drive like this one. Also, it's a telltale sign of something suspicious going on if you find the storage device strategically placed in unusual areas, such as under a table for peeping on others or near your office cubicle facing your keyboard monitor to identify your login details. It basically all comes down to this. Wrongdoers know where our eyes don't look. Whether in a public or a private area, nobody really pays close attention to what's going on above. That's why objects like smoke detectors also do a good job of masking spy cameras. This particular smoke detector uses a wide-angled camera lens to give an expansive view of what's below. Someone just needs an 8GB SD card and a Wi-Fi connection to view what's ever happening below live, whether you're sleeping on your bed or handling sensitive company documents at the office. To spot one of these, take note of the methods used by Derek Starnes and his wife, who rented an Airbnb on Longboat Key, Florida. The place looked decent and all, but then Starnes, who was employed in the tech industry, realized there was something odd about the smoke detector in the master bedroom. For one, Starnes saw a black hole on the side of the device. That's a red flag on any device. If you ever see a small dot like that one, take a closer look. 
because they're not present on normal detectors. Second, this smoke detector was pointing right at their bed. Again, the positioning is a clear giveaway that someone may want to ruin your privacy. Once he took hold of the smoke detector, he saw a camera and an SD card. The landlord, 56-year-old Wayne Nat, was eventually arrested for video voyeurism. Apparently, the man had been on Airbnb for two years and already had well over 40 reviews. His excuse? He said that the people he was recording gave him permission, even if they were engaged in intimate activities. Derek Starnes knew that the smoke detector camera caught him naked as he walked into the bedroom, and both he and his wife were very alarmed. Obviously, if Wayne Nat was really asking for consent first, he wouldn't have placed the cam in such a concealed manner. So if you see any smoke detectors, take a good look. Also, smoke detectors that are really hidden cameras won't even work if smoke does appear. And speaking of detectors, better watch out for motion detectors as well. One American archiver named Jason Scott posted these images on Twitter, taken by a friend staying at an Airbnb. The motion detector was found once again in the bedroom. Good thing his friend questioned why a motion detector would be there. Once it was opened up, an IP camera already connected to the internet was revealed. Jason Scott's friend left the Airbnb room at 3 a.m. to report the incident, get the host suspended, and get his well-deserved refund. What else? Well, any room can have a hidden camera. With all the devices people have accepted into their lives, it's become easier to place spy cams in unsuspicious things. For one, here's an adapter that anyone can place beside a power wall outlet. It films in HD, plus it has Wi-Fi capability so the culprit can see the footage live. And you know what? You can't put it past a crazy ex-boyfriend or girlfriend taking advantage of this small device. Last April, police caught 23-year-old Robert Minch in Warminster, Pennsylvania for using spyware disguised as a common USB adapter to spy on his ex-girlfriend. They broke up weeks ago, but he didn't want to let go of her yet. So he got an adapter that not only had a camera at the front, but also small microphones on the side to record her conversations in her room. On the morning of March the 18th, his ex-girlfriend found it odd that he asked where she was last night. He mentioned details that his ex-girlfriend only talked about with her family members inside the house. So that same day, she finally called the police and had the Wi-Fi spy cam removed. Robert Minch was charged with stalking, interception, and criminal use of a communication facility. Let's go one step further. What if the power outlet itself houses a spy camera? Because inside one of the socket holes here hides a motion sensing camera. All it needs is a micro SD card for storage. Power outlets are so common that they can be installed pretty much anywhere there's a wall. And utilizing a wall isn't even new. Back in 1980, East German spies used a Stasi camera that resembled a selfie stick. It had a very long lens that allowed it to go through pinholes and reach the opposite side of the wall. Anyway, back in December 2017, a socket hole spy cam was used by 48-year-old Matthew Bordeaux to secretly take photos and videos of, get this, his girlfriend's daughter. Mr. Bordeaux was living with both his girlfriend and her daughter. Before they moved to a new place, he gave the daughter a wall socket. He claimed it was an expensive wall socket from his old house in Coral Springs, Florida, and that he didn't want the new owners to take. But behind the wall socket was a hidden camera. The daughter found out when she checked the computer to see if Mr. Bordeaux was cheating on her mother. She saw photos of her naked and changing clothes in the bedroom and the bathroom, with an AC adapter concealing another camera in the bathroom. Overall, more than 2,500 images were captured from all the hidden cameras Matthew Bordeaux installed in the house. Some cameras even have the added benefit of being portable. So if you're in the office and someone places down a water bottle, check the label for a hidden camera. Popular YouTube vlogger Casey Neistat found this water bottle that packs a pretty decent camera. The quality isn't as good as his top tier videos, but will anybody really suspect a bottle of water for a spy cam? The minuscule camera is right here in the label packaging. It uses up to a 64 gigabyte memory card to record 2.5 hours of video. So how can you protect yourself with these Wi-Fi enabled hidden cameras? In this case, it's applicable to fight fire with fire. Technology can definitely be used for good. First, find an app that conducts a network scan to identify which devices can connect to your Wi-Fi network. For one, the Thing app is free to download on iOS and Android. Once you've made a scan, you can see all the devices. If you see a device that doesn't belong to you or someone you know, you should take action. A connected device with a name or model number you haven't seen before requires evaluation. 
To get them off the Wi-Fi, just change the network password or ban the specific IP address using the website or settings page of your router. If the authorities haven't arrived and you want to catch the culprit yourself, use Moocher Hunter. This is a network monitoring software. It can help you to geolocate the person using your Wi-Fi for mischievous purposes. This software has been so useful that law enforcement authorities in Asia use it. So if you want to take one lesson away from this video, it should be to always be vigilant and don't take your immediate surroundings for granted. Before doing anything you don't want others to see, check if there are any objects placed where someone can easily invade your privacy. If you're particularly concerned and have the funds for it, go buy a radio frequency detector. It won't detect hidden cameras that aren't transmitting any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth frequencies, but it will alert you of those using them. Plenty of spy cams transmit radio signals, so this RF detector will just light up or make a beeping sound once it finds the spy cam in your room. And lastly, don't be afraid to seek the help of law enforcement workers. They've likely got the tools and relevant skill sets to help you uncover any pesky hidden cameras and prosecute the creeps using them. Overall, are you surprised to hear the lengths these creeps are going to? And do you now feel better equipped to find one of these devices? Let me know what you think in the comments below as I may have time to revisit this topic. Thanks for watching.